You what's going on guys, it's Butcher Extra TV here, back at it again. And today guys, we're back here on Snow Runner. Now for today's Storm Avail, guys, essentially what we're going to be going ahead and doing is simply taking a look at a brand new mod here on Snow Runner on PC. Now I just want to get this out of the way real quick. The vehicle right in front of us, number one, that's not the vehicle we're going to be going and taking a look at. It is a Ford and it is branded. It is completely branded. The name is branded as Ford in it and it's got the Ford badge and logos all over it. So pretty much what that means is that it's not console friendly and we will not be seeing it on console anytime in the future unless some changes are made to it. But yeah guys, I was doing my normal check. I haven't seen too many new mods that were really interesting to me. That's why I did not upload yesterday, so I do really apologize for that. And this mod really did catch my eye since I'm a huge fan and lover of this specific model of vehicle. So then I instantly knew I had to hop right onto this and take a look at it. So I'm starting the truck store here, scrolling right over, and here it is. This is a 1989. Ford Bronco is $30,035. This was completely created, designed, and uploaded by Watt Limes 211, also known as just Lime. Now, as you guys can see right off the bat, number one in the name, as I did mention, it says a 1989 Ford Bronco. And right in the front, it does have the Ford badge. And on the back, it also has one Ford badge as well. Now, the only way this would be possible to come to console is if he did change A, the name, to instead of Ford, to something like Lime, but that's really up to him. And then I have no idea what he'd call the next part, that'd be up to him as well. And then when it comes to the vehicle itself, the badging, He'd A, just have to put a blank badge, or what I think would be pretty cool, but would take a lot more designing, is putting something like Lime in the badges, but it's really up to him. So really, once it's just completely unbranded, it'd be free to come to console. But now with all that out of the way, let's go and hop straight into the customization. So we're going to start out here with a stock engine. This is a stock 475 horsepower engine. Go up to built, which is 950 horsepower. Bit of an improvement, if you ask me. And then up here at the top, you have bulletproof. And then all the description is, this is way too much power. And no one should ever need this. So yeah, I'm just going to leave this here. Now, that's what I love about Watt Lime's vehicles. He runs this kind of customization on most of his vehicles and gives you the option for speed, normal, kind of in the middle, and then just, you know, your normal engine. And then he also will match you with some great gearboxes to get that full speed out of his vehicle. So that's what I really love about it. It gives you a ton of options. Moving on into gearbox here, we're going to start with stock 5 speed, go on to fast or crawl. So as once again, that just goes to show, gives you lots of in-depth customization options. What are you going to be using this thing for? So that's what I really like about it. We're going to go and run fast for today's build. Moving on into suspension. We're going to start here with stock. As you guys can see, so it's pretty low, looks pretty nice. I'm going to go on one to flex, which is going to raise it up big time and lifted, mid lifted. I kind of like that. So really, I, I bet he'll give you, I mean, I haven't checked it out yet with how the customization is going. I bet there's a good size tire that would match this lift kit right here. Next, we have mid race lifted, which can be a bit more active flex setup. Race is just going to be track tuned and short lifted. Oh, I feel like this would look perfect with most of the tires. And then on here we have tow. So for this setup, we're going to go and run a 12 inch lift and see what kind of tires we can run. So we're going to start out here with a stock 60 inch tire and go all the way up to 77 inch tire. That's insane for our stock tire. So you have some bogger options. Got swampers. They have ginormous tractor tires. Lots of options for BF Goodrich tires. The same tire, but with TIS rims. So I believe we're going to go ahead and run... I love the TIS off-road rims, but with these tires, I feel like, let's go and buy these. I feel like, let's find a good suspension that match it. That's stock and it still fits it. I feel like short-lifted would fit this just perfectly with these tires. But then with the tires I'd like to run, which are these ones. So here's the BF Goodriches. Here's the normal BF Goodriches. And then here's the wider with the TIS off-road rims on them. So I think we're going to run just the normal BF Goodriches. And now on what suspension? I want to run lifted, but then again, I don't. It sits way too high for my liking uh, with what tires we provide with. Obviously, we'd run lifted with something like our tractor tires or whatnot, but I really am digging something like a mid lifted flex so we're gonna go and run that moving on into our winch we're just gonna have one that's toe strap can put a nice light bar it's a bronc light bar for the roof and you do have some rim options okay start off with the amfs here's all your other options so you do have a couple of tis off-road rim options so i believe we're gonna go and run those and for our color
I think that lighter gray really does fit it, so we're just gonna go and keep the stock color. Oh, here we go. 76 High Boy and the 89 Ford Bronco look great together. All right, here's a quick review of the truck. So just right off the bat, by taking a look at it, now this kind of base model, apparently textures, more, more details and textures for it will be coming soon in a later update, but it's just base model he decided to release. Right off the bat, by taking a quick look at it, as guys will notice, we do have all-time all-wheel drive and diff lock, 22 gallon tank. With this suspension we are running, I believe it was mid-lifted or something. We do not have any suspension functions and as we did pick out we are running a nine gear gearbox let's go ahead and test out the horn okay so there's no horn on this vehicle because as i did mention this is just a base model and we do not yet know if he's going to include a horn with the next update coming soon on it and then as we already took a look at there's no real in-depth first person view because there's absolutely no details just an open body or when it comes to interior view so this is you're, you're going to pretty much just get windshield view which is kind of messed up just a bit but that's all right so now let's hop straight to what it sounds like. I'm a bit curious. Ooh, that sounds awesome. Oh, and it's got quick steering. Oh, that's going to come in handy really well. Okay, so you're going to start out with just normal headlights that are going to come on as soon as you turn it on. And then here are the super bright headlights. Love to see it. Oh yeah, that lights it up a bunch. See what it sounds like. Whoa, okay, so okay, so you just pretty much the exact same sounds he used for except for the idol. Yeah, I don't I don't feel like that's the same idol. I was gonna switch to his L four hundred. I'm like ninety nine percent sure it's not the same idol, but this does sound like yeah, it's the seven three sound. It sounds just like the L400. Alright, what tests are we doing today? We have lots of speed on our hands. So we're going to go ahead and run ourselves the honor test first. Then we're going to go and run uh, just a slight mudding test. I mean, this is going to be a pretty common setup. A lot of you guys are going to run. Gotta love the detail when it comes to the quick steering, which I am a big fan of. So since I do believe this is the only flex suspension, that's an 8 inch lift with flex. We're going to go ahead and do honored performance and then a suspension test. And then we're going to go ahead and build a mud variant of this and then get our times going through all three mud pits and then we're going to jump it with this setup so it may go on road test suspension test and then jump test and then we'll make a mud build and take it through the mud and see what kind of performance we can get so without further ado here we go in three two one and we're off let's go and spam clutch here get to six out of nine gears okay we're we're already a bit squirrely we're already a bit wobbly we are drifting Wow, that was, uh, okay, give or take a few seconds. Now, now this is the exact time we got, but uh, what I meant by give or take is that I believe we could have probably gotten a few less seconds on this. That was a whole 15.22 seconds in straight high gear. I'm a bit curious how fast high gear is going to be because with nine gear gearboxes, like, and even seven gear gearboxes, High gear is going to be slower than like your sixth gear, but I don't know if that's going to be the case for today. Let's see, can we beat 15.22 seconds when going down just high gear? Here we go in three, two, one, and we're off. And high gear, yeah, I'd say that's just a bit faster. So I'm pretty sure it's safe to say uh, lime here was not lying. This is way too much power. No one should ever need. So I'm just going to leave this here. Uh, when it comes down to the engine bulletproof description, uh, I'd say you got that pretty spot on. But anyways, with the on-road performance test out of the way, let's just go ahead and do a quick suspension test and jump it. Wonder what speed. Oh, okay. That's, that's me a bit bad. If I spam clutch like I just did when we're approaching that jump oh did you guys see that looks pretty cool when i'm approaching that jump and by the way if you guys are new here we do not oh okay we do not time these we just uh eyeball the performance just see where we're going to get stuck and if we're going to get stuck so far i mean this thing's a beast pretty much any terrain i mean these tires are holding up very well to be expected i don't know the exact size because both the BF Goodriches said that they were 25 inch even though these are way bigger than the TIS off-road rim variant of it. So far the suspension is holding up great. Love to see it. See can we just jump it completely? Yep. I've always wanted to do that. Haven't been able to find a vehicle yet that can do it but we just did. So now let's just go and jump it and then we'll build a mudding tune and see how that will hold up. And then at the end, we're going to try to, because I just noticed that we do have a crawl gearbox uh, so that we can explore all aspects of this vehicle on-road, 
off-road aka mud and crawling we're gonna do a mud build since this is the on-road build right now we're gonna do a mud build uh, as you guys can see right there we just took a little bit of damage but that's just alright nothing that the old Bronco here cannot handle but as I was going on about the customization is provided we should take that opportunity to test all the aspects of this vehicle out by number one our on-road performance test uh, with this tune which we, which we just finished and then we're gonna go and build ourselves a mudding tune right now and then go test all three mud pits see what kind of time we can get and then to finish it all off for the finale we're gonna go ahead and test the crawling performance of this bad boy so let's hop straight into it so we're keeping the same engine gearbox for this build because this is just mudding gonna go and run a 12 inch lift for our suspension and for mudding tires the 69 inch 48 inch bkt tractor tires but i am a bit curious so the bogger ah oh, these seem like they are bigger and that's our mudding setup. It looks, it looks a bit interesting, I know, but we're just going to try it, all right? I have a good feeling about this, but we also are going to test out the 77-inch stock tire because how those tires are set up, it's excellent in all categories, on-road, off-road, and mud. So here we go in three, two, one, and we're off. Spam clutch right through here like it's nothing. That's the quickest time I've ever gotten. Five seconds out of just the first mud pit. Five seconds. Wow. Uh, I didn't uh, hit the button to check what time we got a second one or a third one so wow that is just insane you're gonna have no problem if you're running a setup like this now you may not reach all other categories with this setup but if you're encountering any mud or you're at least planning on it with your off-road adventures in this thing uh, you're gonna have no problem I I'll tell you that much but anyways, that was 26 seconds out of all three. 26 seconds. So under 30 seconds, and we're out of there. All three mud pits. Done. Gone. We're out of there. That was truly insane. I was not expecting that good a performance. But now we're going to go and run a 77-inch stock tire, which the performance stats of it do say on-road, off-road, and mudding is all going to be excellent. So let's put that to the test right now. Can we get another... 26 second run aka just anywhere under 30 seconds i'm a bit curious so here we go in three two one and we're off spam clutch here uh five seconds again out of that one whoa that seems like that's just a bit quicker oh my gosh come on pull through pull through pull through yo that's insane 17 seconds okay so you're going to want to run the 77 inch stock tire or this setup. I believe with this setup, you're going to get the best performance. I mean, it took a lot for us to flip right there, but you're going to get insane my performance, even better than running tractor tires. And I'm sure the towing would be great as well. Um, you're going to get speed too, just the same amount of speed. Uh, all aspects of the vehicle is just completely insane with these tires. Those 17 seconds solid straight through all three mud pits. But now to finish it off, we have two of the three categories down for our 89 Bronco here. So now it's time to throw on a quick crawl tune. So we're going to go and run the crawl gearbox. Let's find ourselves a nice, not that, but okay, this is going to be a rock and trail setup. And then for our tire, what, what do we do for, I mean, I want to keep our 77 inch stock tire. But then I do believe that these tires are just a tad bit bigger, so we're going to keep the BF Goodriches that we did start out with. All right, now with this out of the way, here's the six-gear gearbox. How's crawling going to be? And we're going to put it up against the nine-gear gearbox, too. So here we go in three, two, one. And we're off. Spam clutch real quick. No damage taken. Went right over it like it's nothing. Easy peasy. Here's going to be your, I'd say, like an 11-inch lift for crawling. That was a solid 18 seconds straight out of the rocks. And I feel like we could do just a little bit better if we go ahead and run a fast gearbox. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try that. So here we go guys. Can we be 18 seconds? In three, two, one. And we're off spam clutch, spam clutch, let's go. Let's not flip. If we flip, then I will recommend you the crawler gearbox for sure. It's gonna have less speed, it may keep you just a bit more stable. Run the same suspension and tire setup. Come on, be 18, not 18, uh, yeah, eight, be 18 seconds, there we go. Okay, we got pretty much the exact same time. That was an 18 second run. That's hard to tell, we got, we got caught up 
at one little spot and then we kind of had a little bit of struggle skin out of it but not really anywho that is it for the ultimate 89 ford bronco 10 out of 10 build when it comes to the mod love it it just completely crushed all our categories and tests it was just an overall insane vehicle and i'd recommend it to you guys any day of the week and yeah so really that's it for this video guys if you guys did find it helpful or enjoy it in any way shape or form please do make sure to drop a fat like please do feel free to subscribe if you guys are interested in any of my new daily content here on the channel guys with that it's pretty much it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching make sure to make sure you guys day or night and with that i'll catch you guys very very soon in the next one